Recently, one of my students asked me, how can I use HP Prime to plot a simple function of time? Let's see how we can do that. We could use um, CAS, but the plot is tiny. I prefer to use the Advanced in Graphing app, this one. Let's see how that is done. There are three steps that I follow to do any plotting. The first one is I enter the function as y a function of x. Always y and always x. Yes, and uppercase too. This is an inconvenience, but we can learn to deal with it. This app plots only using a linear horizontal axis for x and a linear vertical axis for y. No semi-log plots, no log-log plots. We will learn how to do those other plots in a separate video. Let's have an example, all right? Let's plot a parabola. Let's say that we want to plot the height as a function of time, this one. The first step, as I've said before, is to rewrite that as y as a function of x, uppercase y, uppercase x. We'll do that directly within the app. And then we choose the range for the horizontal and the vertical axis. Because I don't know where this curve will appear, I will choose a very wide range for the horizontal axis between negative 100 and positive 100, and the same for the vertical axis. Let's go to the calculator. Let's suppose that the functions of time are already on the screen in CAS. The first thing I do is I select, I choose that with a cursor, I click on the function I want to plot, and then I copy it, not with this copy. This copy would only copy that to the bottom line. I use Shift, Copy, all the way here in View. Shift, Copy. Now that function is in the buffer, and we can go to the App, Apps, Advanced Graphic, and double-click on this one. And that's where I'm going to paste that function. Again, Shift, Paste, all the way up here. And it shows me a list of all the things that I put in the buffer recently. I choose the latest one, this one. That's the one. But before enter that, I have to change T for X and HT for Y. What if I forget that? It will just give me a warning like that, syntax error. I go back and I change this T for X out of convenience. The X is down there, so you don't have to look for it, X. And let me change that colon HT for an uppercase Y. That is the format the calculator expects. I type OK. We're almost ready. Next, I go for the range. The range is here where it says plot setup in blue. Shift plot. That will give me the setup for plotting. And there we choose a range which we agreed would be negative 100, negative 100 to 100 on the horizontal axis. And on the vertical axis, again, negative 100 to positive 100. What about those ticks that you see there? That is where the grid will appear. In this case, let's say that I want that this is not really that important because this is temporary. The range I'm choosing is temporary just to locate where the curve is on the plot and then we can zoom in and make it right. For now, let me say every 50, every 50, oops, not every 0.50, every, every 25 points we get a tick on the horizontal axis and every 25 also on the vertical axis and we are ready to plot. And the key is this one, plot. And there we see the curve. You see, oh, the curve is all the way up here. Uh, I can move it down there to see it better. And say, mm, how do I find actually what is the proper range to make a decent plot of this? That is what we're doing. See, in menu, you have the possibility of tracing the curve inside the curve. What does it mean? You can click on the curve anywhere, and it will give and it will give us the x and the y of that point. The lowest point, the lowest point of that one, is approximately 24. So if we plot on the vertical range 
from 20 up how how high up to about here mm, to 140 so between 20 and 140 on the vertical axis and on the horizontal axis well let's see this point is at negative 4 4 and uh, the opposite side like this one is at uh, 335 so let's say we plot that between negative 5 and positive 4 and the vertical between 20 and 150 correct that's the plot so we go to shift plot it up and say i'm going to plot that between negative um, five and four on the horizontal axis and here i'll plot between 20 and uh, 150 i said 150 and now i choose the proper ticks i'll choose the tick um everyone everyone so there will be a uh, nine ticks every two every two ticks and on the vertical axis every 50 i think every 50 will be sufficient every 50. we're ready to plot here it comes click the plot key and that is a plot that we needed that we wanted you can do many things with that of course you can trace it to find let's say what is the minimum value of that one this one is 2247 and it happens at x that is time negative 0 0.59 seconds you can zoom you can zoom any part of that how you do the zooming menu zoom and you're given several options the one i like the best is a box i create a box and it says select a corner sure one of the corners will be this one okay select the the other corner the opposite corner oh, this one zoom okay and that's how how i can zoom using using that one and so much for this one let's go to the other curve let's have another example in this case a voltage that is changing with time the first thing as usual we write that as y as a function of x we will do that directly in the app and then we choose the range i'm going to choose a different range for this one between 0 and 0.4 seconds for x and the voltage between 0 and 30 volts i know that curve i know what to expect that's why i've chosen those ranges let's go to the calculator let's go through the same process for the other one first step select the plot that we want and we copy not with this one we copy with shift copy all the way up here shift copy it goes to the buffer now we go to the app advanced graphic double click and shift paste shift paste select the one at the very top double click and next we edit that and we change t for uppercase x that is a very rapidly done here directly in the app t for x oops x and this one also t for x and instead of colon equal we have just equal just equal we come here delete 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 and there is just y y is equal to that one okay and we're ready to set the range shift plot and the rate we said was going to be between 0 and 0 0.4 and between 0 and uh, i believe it was 30 30 on the vertical axis and the ticks will be every 0 0.2 we have a tick every 0 0.1 we have a tick and on the vertical axis every five every five is okay every five and then we go and plot plot the curve there that is that voltage as a function of time again we can use a trace and find for instance what is the maximum value of that voltage you say i can barely see what is happening there is a no problem let's zoom in and see better if we detect what is the peak value the maximum value of that voltage zoom 
let me select the box mm, select the corner this is one corner okay select the other corner okay the other corner I will select let me move that a little bit to the side and select this point here no um, this point here is better okay okay now I see the peak value and I can say the maximum value of that voltage by the way you see you can you you can oh I need to trace inside the curve inside the curve there I can move with the cursor around the curve and find any point in this case I want the maximum the maximum is oops don't go so quickly is um, 24.5 volts and it happens 1.3 milliseconds after the switch closes anyway I think that is sufficient as a demo of the capabilities of plotting of the advanced graphing app thank you very much and I hope to meet with you in the next video and cut. I think that's a wrap. Right.